In today's video, we want to go over the NC editor settings inside the control when you're using or when you're running the G code program. So you can see here on the screen, I've got a, a G code program up. And right off the bat, we notice that it's kind of a small font. And you'll notice that there's a lot of different colors. Um, there are things in green, some things are in blue. Some of your movements, X, Y, and Z may in, be in different colors. And all of this is configurable, including the background. And the way we do that is from the NC, when you're viewing an NC program, and the way I went there, obviously, is I went from the input screen, and I either went to review or to part programming, whichever one you normally would go to look at your program. You'll notice that we have the F7 key down here, which is called editor settings. If we click on that, it brings up a whole list of settings that we can change. So the first one, the first one is also a good place to mention, or this is a good place to mention, the block skip enable. If you've looked through the control and you've never been able to locate where you turn on the block skip enable to turn it on or off, it's here in the NC settings. So if that's something that you would normally use, you've probably already found this screen. But if not, and you've always wondered where that was, now you know. This is uh, obviously, if it's off and I have a block skip, the forward slash in my program, if it's not enabled, it won't skip that line. And if it is enabled, then it would skip that line and move on. But the reason for the video is these other settings. So the very first one, I'm going to change the editor font. If I click on that, you can see that we can pick any of the fonts that are loaded on that particular on your particular machine and we can pick a size so I'm going to go ahead and take this up to a 22 and I'll okay that you can see that there's a text smoothing sometimes depending on the font that you get you may have jagged looking um, fonts some of it like G's and things with a lot of arcs in them and you can click this on to smooth those I've never found one that I needed to do that so I can't really give you an example of what font that might be but that would be the reason for that. We also have the tint, the current line, which I'll show you what that means in a minute, your color scheme for your background. And here are the different colors for lines. So any kind of normal text is gonna show up in black. If I highlight anything, it'll be in blue, green for comments. And you can see out here to the side what these each one of these features would be and then next to it is what the uh, color would be. So let's say I wanted to change my comments to a different color. I literally click on the color and then go select what color I want that to be. So I can color code the things that I look for or that I look at often in my program. Now if I go back to the program, you'll see that I changed it to a 22 point font. So it's much bigger and easier to see now. And as I highlight each one of these lines, you can see that there's a very faint um, kind of a background there. It's a very faint gray. If I go to the editor settings, that's where I go to the tint, the current line. I can bring that up a little bit. And now when I highlight that line, it's a little bit easier to find. So when I'm looking for my cursor in the program, um, it, it jumps out at me a little bit more by changing that. The background is always white, or that's what it defaults to. If I go to the editor settings, I can then go to the color scheme, select light, dark, or dark high contrast. And you can see that it actually changes here as well. But now when I go back in there, I have a little bit more contrast. If, uh, if you look in here a lot and it hurts your eyes, um, maybe changing the font size in this background might help. And you'll notice if I go anywhere else in the control, it's still the original color. So it only changes it for that uh, editor. So give that a try. Go in the, the uh, settings there and make some of these changes if you found things that didn't work well for you. And you can kind of tailor this to go along with what works best for you and your eyes. 